Hi, I'm Ted Bear. Welcome to my channel. I'll be going over rule number three of 15 important rules for you to establish in your household and integrate into your dog training. It'll just guarantee that you have an obedient dog. Family members and regular guests, well, you'll have to teach them some of the rules and some of the training, but you'll be able to do that. You'll find a link to all the rules in my other videos down in the description section below. I suggest you look at the first video. It talks about the importance of sharing a language with your dog. Many people think that having an obedient dog is beyond their reach, but I'm here to tell you that you can train your dog to be not only obedient, but terrific. Rule number three. Match your voice tone to your command. Dogs rely on the tone of their owner's voice from an early age just to figure out what it is their owners want them to do. A person's tone varies whether they're angry, sad, happy, confused, anxious, or excited. This acquired knowledge that your dog already has will be very helpful in your training. In general, Every command you give should sound serious and important, urgent. But in some cases, pay special attention, like in the feedback commands of good or bad or no, and make sure you match your tone up so that your dog knows for sure that they've been good or bad. In certain cases, it will benefit you to sound excited. A good example of that is the come command, where you want your dog to just accelerate toward you and get there as soon as possible. I suggest put some emotion in every one of your commands. Volume is another variable that you can take advantage of in your training. I suggest a normal volume and with an emphasis on tone on most of your commands. But if your dog's a distance away from you, increase your volume. If your dog is poor on a new command, increase your volume a little bit and then make sure you work on that command later in your training. If you're upset with your dog, raise your voice. It not only will help release some of your anxiety, but you'll make sure your dog knows that they were bad. Warning though, your neighbors may question your mental state, so yell at your own risk. During training, practice volume reduction. Your dog has terrific hearing. Whisper your commands and teach your dog to listen to you more. It can even come in handy. Let's say you're out on a walk with your dog and in the distance is a shady guy coming towards you. Well, whisper the bark command and then cross the street. Whether that person coming at you is good or bad, they will benefit and appreciate the fact that you're taking your obviously aggressive dog and crossing the street. Whenever you're commanding or correcting your dog, think about the tone of your voice and the volume that you are using. Please give me a thumbs up and watch my other videos. My book, Communicating with Your Dog, is available on Amazon. When it first came out, it won a Dog Writers Association of America award. We're in our third edition now. It outlines a simple 20 word language for you to share with your dog. It also goes into some other suggested words that you can expand your dog's vocabulary later.